Hello and welcome to Man vs Mobile. I'm your host Gary Brook. This week we'll be looking at your mobile phone and seeing if it can help you navigate on the seven seas. Now the first western civilization known to have developed the art of navigation at sea were the Phoenicians about 4,000 years ago. Phoenician sailors accomplished navigation by using primitive charts, observing the sun and the stars to determine their position and their direction. Obviously we have electronics now, but if your boat is not equipped with any of this expensive navigation equipment, there is an inexpensive solution to keep you from dusting off those old charts and staring back at the stars. This week we'll be looking at the Plan to Nav app, a great utility for planning your boat trip. This has everything from weather navigation tools, such as compass, route planner, and if all that wasn't enough, the app even gives you an ocean depth and a great visual display of the topography in your area. Obviously the developers went well overboard with this app, in a good way of course. So let's take a closer look. Josh, do you want to go sailing? I'll leave the field work to you, Gary. I like to do my work in a robe and slippers. The Plan 2 Nav app is deep with features. By default, you're presented with a detailed view of ocean depths, a compass, and an array of options along the bottom of the screen. If the default setup isn't exactly how you like it, the settings screen offers plenty of customizable options. Next, tap the GPS button and the user gets a great compass view along with your current latitude and longitude. Plan 2 Nav has a great search filter showing you the nearest point, ports, even shipwrecks in the area. That should get every captain excited to use this app. Looking again at the main weather view of this app and it has the coolest option. Select the time in the future using the forecast slider at the top. This automatically updates the screen from the weather for that time period. It's like looking into the future right on your own handheld device. Gary, this one deserves a test run. I think it's time for you to hit the open seas. I'm here today with uh, Gabriel from Vessel Assist at uh, Marina Del Rey. Um, Gabriel, can you tell me a little bit more about the instruments we've got going on here and how you guys navigate? Uh, generally, we use what's called a chart plotting GPS. It's right here. It's in color, so that it helps us uh, locate our customers right. within about six foot accuracy. We have a standard magnetic compass. And what's the difference between the magnetic compass and the actual digital compass you got going on there? That's using satellite to to figure out the compass bearing, whereas this is actually magnetic from the pull of the earth and oh, they're see. both about the same. So yeah. I've got an application here called Plan to Nav on the iPhone and um, what I'm curious is how this compares to the instruments that I use today. I know you can see from this uh, we've got a, a GPS and uh, we've got a compass here. Now the numbers that are displayed here I'm assuming that's depth of the ocean. Yeah, those are just depth markers right. um, at the lowest that it could possibly be depending on the tidal range. Right. And that's just kind of for your information as you're cruising the coast for fishing or anchoring. Okay. You just kind of want to know what the depth is like. And it also shows like a topographic feature. It kind of shows the layers of depth drop off. I as see. As well as ac actual depths like at that given position. Now does this instrument have the same thing? The, the actual yeah, it, depth it, of the it ocean? Yeah, it seems to be basically the same display. Right. Um, it's color, 3D. Right. And you know, seems to have all the same characteristics. Now these numbers here, we've got uh, everything from 5 to 7 to 11 to 12 feet. That is feet, right? Correct? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. It could okay. be fathoms and I should know the answer to that, but I'm pretty, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's in feet. Do you think you can navigate a boat of using an iPhone or an Android mobile device? Absolutely. I mean, it, it shouldn't be um, relied upon. You should definitely have a certain skill set, but right. in a pinch, um, you can definitely use it just like a handheld GPS or a chart plotter to navigate. Right. Now is there an advantage to pilots out there on vessels to have a mobile device? Because obviously you get called out for rescues and when right. you have you know mishaps going on. Is there an advantage to having a mobile phone on the actual boat? Um, if, yeah, I mean a lot of times the reason the boat is getting towed is because there's been an electrical or mechanical failure. And oh, if that was the case, anything that's hardwired to the boat could be compromised. That's a good so, sign. And most people that are out on their boat today could not find their way back if their instruments failed. Right. Most people can't take a bearing off land or don't even remember their return course as they're going out somewhere. Um, so if all the electronics fail on the boat, they're pretty much stuck. But if you have a cell phone that was disconnected um, from your vessel in terms of being reliant on the battery power, right. you could then use that to navigate. So, so there's a huge advantage, not just for navigation, but if you've got the plan to nav app on your phone and you're out there and you have to give your coordinates, you can report your 
latitude and longitude to people like yourself who are out yeah, there rescuing? Most importantly, you can report your position in the case of an emergency. If you give the Coast Guard your exact position, um, it's going to give them a faster response time when it comes to a medical emergency or if your boat's taken on water or on fire. But in terms of uh, commercial assistance, what we do, it just makes it easier. It's going to give you just a faster response time and less time to wait. So I think um, having the, uh, the Plan 2 Nav app on your phone is definitely a big bonus. Especially if you're out there in the seas and something goes wrong, having a mobile device is definitely the key thing. We spent a full day with Gabriel from Vessel Assist navigating the waters of the Pacific Ocean just off the coast of Marine Del Rey. I can tell you the Plan 2 Nav app held its own, whether you're using it as a primary navigation system or simply for backup in emergencies. This is a must-have app. If you're going to spend any time out in the water, it completely delivers. So until next time, and with a new app, I'm your host, Gary Brook.